The legacy of a Guadalupe veteran believed to be one of the last living World War II paratroopers will be honored this weekend. KSBY News reporter Asia Gore joins us live in the newsroom with more on the life of Bindo Grasso. Good morning, Asia. Good morning, Dustin. The decorated veteran was 96 years old when he died last week. And on Saturday, family, friends, and the entire Central Coast community are coming together to give Bindo Grasso a final at ease. If he had a chance to jump again, he would, even at, uh, at 96 years old. The son of World War II veteran Bindo Grasso says jumping was in his father's blood. He was a 101st Airborne. He's always told me he did uh, three jumps. Something that he told just me, and I made him share it, um, was that he had come across a concentration camp. He said that up until then, he was just doing his job. But after that point, seeing what he saw, he got angry. Anger turned to courage. The night before D-Day, Grasso was among the first to drop into German territory, leading American fighters into a battle that would shape the course of history. He jumped uh, behind enemy lines and set up beacons for gliders and other troops to, to follow him. Over the channel, there was heavy cloud. By the end of that bloody day in 1944, the Allies gained a foothold in Europe, eventually leading to the defeat of Nazi Germany. But these stories of battle, these badges of honor, something Grasso kept to himself. They never talked about it when we were kids. That changed later in life, <laughs> when Grasso was faced with a hard realization. He was asked to speak at a middle school in Guadalupe, and he came back and he was kind of mortified, I guess, that the kids didn't really know much about the war. Grasso decided to open up to his family, who helped share his story with the community, where he had already left a different kind of mark. Really, his legacy, yes, it's the war, but everything you see around you, he either did it or taught the person that did it how to do it. The house is right over there across the street, the movie theater, even the school right here at this church. That was all, all my dad. A man of many hats, a pathfinder, builder, and father, and to so many, a hero. And Moody says the Band of Brothers group is starting a Parachutes for Papa Bindo Grasso Memorial Skydive that they plan to hold annually. Live in the newsroom, I'm Asia Gore, KSBY News. Great job on that story, Asia. Thank you very much. And that memorial is planned for 10 a.m. Saturday at the American Legion Hall in Guadalupe. It starts with a military escort from Spencer's Market in Orchid.